Tonight we're hearing from a police chief in the east after his city reported a sizable drop in crime for the first half of the year. Amarache Uche spoke with the chief to learn about what actions they've taken to contribute to the drop. She's live in the studio now with more. Amarache? Yeah, Dave, earlier today the Kinston Police Department released its biannual crime report for 2020. Now Police Chief Keith Goyette says the report is released so the community knows what their department is dealing with at the time. Crimes in the Kinston community are something Police Chief Keith Goyette says his department keeps an eye on, focusing on proactive police work, which in turn has some positive outcomes. Lowering crime in our community is going to bring commerce, it's going to bring more people here, more shopping, more businesses. So it was very, that was very, very, very important for us. More of those positive outcomes could be seen in the department's biannual crime report for 2024. According to the report released Tuesday, felony crimes dropped by 18% compared to the first half of 2023, while minor or misdemeanor crimes saw a significant drop of 66%. Lowering crime, specifically gun crime, violent crime, um, aggravated assaults, that was something we really, really wanted to concentrate on. Chief Goyette says it hasn't been easy. We're like a lot of departments across the east, we're short staffed, so we're having to do more with less. And their work is far from over. While the city saw a majority of crimes decrease, there were some rises. Murders increased 38%, going from two to three for the first half of the year. DWI arrests jumped from 12 to 66, a 450% increase year to year, which the chief says is thanks to the crackdowns on the road. We really put an emphasis uh, with, our, with our officers here in Kenston, you know, our, our patrol captains and patrol sergeants. I really understood that, you know, we really need to work hard on DWIs and our officers have just been more proactive with the DWIs and that's why the, the numbers were so, so much increased. As the year continues on, Chief Goyette says the numbers may change, but the department hopes to be as transparent as possible to the community it serves. We want our community to know that our officers are dedicated to our community. We want to provide a safe, safe environment for everybody who lives here, visits here and works here. Now, Chief Goyette says there have been many factors that have contributed to a drop in crime rates. These include the officers being out and active in the community, Tips 411, which is an app people can send tips about crime to, and local support from the Sheriff's Office. Dave? All right, thanks, Amarachi. And for the full biannual crime report, you can head to our website, WITN.com.